All right, everybody, I'm back again. I almost forgot about ID cooling. The CPU air cooler that I use at my editing rate that keeps my Ryzen 5 3600 cool. IDE cooling has just released two brand new mega coolers, the SE207 series. Yes, ID, ID cooling is not playing. This is a monster powerhouse and cooling. They do AIOs. I'm old school, so I'm going to use the air coolers. I think air coolers are best, better than the AIOs. So, let's get right into it. Alrighty, this is from Tech Power. IDE Cooling reveals family of the mega coolers for AMD Intel CPUs. IDE Cooling has announced their latest mega coolers, a new Monica of and the new lineup that announced the coolest compatibility with the latest, greatest, highest performance and most power hungry CPUs. The CPU coolers are designed to accompany CPUs with TDPs up to 280 watts. This is one thing I love IDE cooling. This is a powerhouse in trying to keep these coolers, these CPUs cool. And stay at their peak performance while you throw a heavy load at them. Yes. There are two separate coolers in the family. The SE207 XT Black is aimed for AMD Ryzen processors as well as Intel CPUs in LGE1200, 11.5X series, and the 20XX series. One fact is if you need more cooling oomph. However, the SE207 TRX Black is aimed for AMD Ryzen Threadrippers processors in the TR4 packaging. Both coolers are over the same 280 watt TDP. Wow, them boys are not playing and keeping these CPUs cool. This is the monster powerhouse, so nobody cannot sleep on IDE cooling. So, NZXT, Corsair, Fantex and any other people that make some heavy air coolers, y'all watch out. ID ID coolers not playing, and they mean business. Let's get on right to it. I follow their website because, just like I said, I have the SE series of for them that cools my Ryzen 5 3600. It keeps my CPU cool and keep it at its peak performance. All right, let's go ahead on and talk about the SE 207 XT Black. Full copper base, black coated micro waved heat sink fans, flexibility fan setup. Two fans are provided to gain the most cooling efficiency. Extra fan clips are provided to help you install the, the third fan. So you got three fans on this bad boy, keeping everything at its peak performance. Dual PWM fans, break big airflow, low noise. P and WM control push pull fan setup provides sufficient cooled air to cool the heat sink. Wow. High memory compatibility. Once again, you can elevate it. We got them big bulky rams with the big bulky ram coolers, heat sinks. You can go ahead and you get elevated to the way it, so it can fit over. Those are memory RAM heat sinks. Metal mech mounting. That means it mounts for every CPU out there. So it comes with what you need for your AM4s, AM3s, AM2s, Intel's, 1200s, 1150 X. That means 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, and your 20 and your 20. CPU mount LGA 2000 uh, mount support and it has high effective thermal pace. The thermal pace is stable, not non violet, and smooth to apply. Yes, 
some thermal paste sticks to the CPU when you try to move the CPU cooler it rips the CPU out of the socket sometimes you bend pins sometimes you don't but you need as long as the dev CPU all good because I used it and it's easy to remove without ripping the CPU out of the socket alrighty let's go to specifications alrighty Intel LG 2066, 2011, 1200, 1150, 1151, 1155, and 1156. One thing they did not mention, I know a lot of people still use socket 775. They need to go ahead and do a socket bracket for that. That would work as great if they go ahead and make it for 11775 motherboards. So therefore it is better now on the AMD side it is only for AM4 so if you have an AM3 motherboard or AM2 or downwards it is not compatible so that's another thing those two sockets I wish they go ahead on and continue making these here for their AM3 motherboards and the AM2 plus motherboards etc down the line that would be great so i need i need cooling i need to consider that for the socket 775s and the am3s the am2 plus motherboards tdp is at 280 watts overall dimensions at 144 122 with the cpu height of 157 millimeter you cannot go wrong weight is 1300 grams with fans accessories it's not bad at all here is the overview chart as y'all getting a good hang of that there yes this is SE 207 XT black is serious and it's not playing that 280 watt thermal design power you could be on a, 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 a Ryzen 7 3700X or whatever or the Ryzen 9 that baby keeping it cool and keeping that CPU at max performance so you cannot go wrong with this uh, moving right along to the second baby yes the SE 207 TRX black now this CPU cooler is only for the thread rippers and we know how them third rippers are and their thermal design power for that CPU. And yes, this is the real deal. The SC207 TRX Black got your third ripper CPU fully covered. Yes, sir. And we know them third rippers are a beast. That's why I call those the volcanoes. Them CPUs put out a lot of power, a lot of thought, and a lot of handle it to handle all your extreme what else extreme workload throwing at it so this CPU gonna keep that CPU cool keep that CPU running at its full performance as you constantly cranking heavy workload on that CPU let's move right along base 68 millimeters 46 millimeters all about perfect contact HDT 3.0 seven copper heat pipes transfer the heat from the CPU to the master PC quickly yes they want that CPU to stay cool while you got that baby cranked up in volcano mode yes sir moving right along you got your black coated fans you got your dual big air air for PWM fans you got the dual heat sink with seven heat pipes with a big massive 68 by 46 millimeter base contact to go ahead and keep that thread ripper cool at all times excellent cooling with dual tower heat sinks yes you got you can go ahead and put your third fan in the middle here which is it's just good got your two fans on the outside <laughs> boy ID ain't playing ID cooling is not playing baby they are not playing Dual PWM fans, big airflow, low noise. That's what I love with my SE. No noise, and you can barely hear it. Memory clearance, 
once again, the old hell on in access the uh, fans a little higher above the heat sinks and the memory heat sink so y'all pretty much good with that so it's not not an issue with any adjustability you can go ahead and do what you gotta do without no issues as you got your mounting mechanisms only for the thread ripper only for the thread ripper and once again they thermal paste is great smooth to apply easy to remove from the um, CPU heat sink and the CPU itself so you pretty much good to go with that um, specs 280 watts wow I know I the cool is not finished I pretty probably probably somewhere in the mid 2021 they might come out with another CPU cooler that is capable of handling 300 watts TDP. The max height of this is 157 millimeters, 140 length, 122 width, 1300 grams with fan accessories, etc. Fan dimension 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter fan speed from 700 to 1800 RPM PWM. Max F flow is 76.16 CFM. <clears throat> Max static pressure is 2.16 millimeter H2O. Noise 15.2. Minus 35.2 decibels. Rated voltage is 12 VDC. Operating voltage is 10.8. 13.2 VDC. Started voltage is 7 VDC. Rated current is at 0.25A. Power input is 3 watts. Baron type hydraulic bearing. Connect is a 4 pin PWM. Yeah. This is an awesome cooler here. This cooler ain't playing. Let's go head on to the gallery. Look at that. That's sexy black. Ooh, sexy black. I'm going to go ahead and call this at the uh, TRX Midnight. And the other uh, one. Dark Vader. So you got Dark Vader at midnight. Ooh, boy, that thing ain't playing. They have a video, which is not currently up yet, and then you have the downloads not currently up yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put their um their website in my description below so you can go ahead and check them out, check all the um all the uh, products out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the description, put the um link of the um website I use in the description below. So y'all pretty much good and cool and go. You go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Y'all take it easy. Y'all have a great night. Peace.